Hi everyone, welcome in this video. This is the part 4 of the Promises Survey in JavaScript. This is also the last part of my Promises videos, so if you enjoyed, please give this video a like. And without further ado, let's head on to the presentation that I prepared for this one. So, as you can see, in this one, I'm going to talk about the promise result and the promise rejected methods in the JavaScript. So, these methods are basically the shorthands for creating a new promises. Like, for example, I was creating a promises with the new keyword and the promise constructor um, in my previous videos. Those promises were at the very beginning of the status of pending and the result was undefined until it gets to the point where the promise was called with the resolved function or the rejected function inside of the executor, right? But if you would like to make a promise with the resolve or the rejected method, then the status will be fulfilled or the rejected and the result will be whatever the value was that we have passed in to the argument. So the pending status will be omitted when we are creating a promise with the resolve and rejected methods, right? So the promise that we are creating this way, it should return whatever the value was that, that we have passed in inside of the as an argument, inside of the promise. All right. So if the argument isn't a new promise, then it will return whatever the value is. Like here, I'm creating a promise and I'm resolving it to the number of 99. So the new promise will were created with the status of fulfilled and the result is of 99, All right? But if the argument is a new promise, then it will re return the value of that promise, whatever it was resolved or rejected, All right? So here you can see that I'm creating a promise, I'm assigning it to the const variable of the promise, but I'm rejecting it with the string of error. And so here I'm creating a promise and I'm resolving it to the promise. But because this one gets rejected, then our resolve promise doesn't get created, right? And so in this example, what I'm getting is the one promise with the status of rejected and the result of the error, so the string error because the argument is a new rejected promise. But if we are creating a promise with the rejected method and the argument is the new promise, then the returned value will be a new promise with that returned value. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but let me let me explain it. I also want to I also wanted to show you if you would like to pass multiple promise with the resolve methods. Like here you can see that I'm creating a promise and I'm resolving it two, three times. And then at the last one I'm passing in the number of 23. And so in this example, this promise will be created and this status will be fulfilled. And so there is no need to create a new promise with, with the same status. So when this promise gets created, it basically just gets passed to the next one and to the first one. And so in this example, we are only getting one promise with the status of fulfilled and the result of 23. Right. And here you can see that I'm creating a promise and I'm rejecting I'm rejected it to new promise that I'm resolving and then I'm also creating a new promise and I'm also resolving it to the number of 23 and in this example when this promise gets resolved with the value with the result of 23 this promise gets passed to the next one and then it gets passed to the re rejected value which will be created to, with the new promise so here you can see that the 
last promise that, that, that was created was the rejected promise and the result was a promise because we have created a new promise with the value of 23 and we have passed this to the next one where it stops and then the promise with the rejected methods basically just holds this promise and so in the console log we, will, we, will, we could see that we will get the promise of the rejected status and the new promise as a result which will be a fulfilled promise of the number of 23 right and so this way in this way we can also convert uh, non-promises values to a promises values like for example if async await right then uh, we can get a, a promise basically and await the, the value to be to be returned so i hope you enjoyed this was a short video uh, and also the last part and i will see you next time bye